Might I just say that your hair is looking lovely today, as is yours, as is yours. Hey, Sue, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Doing all right? You know, I'm coming to you from the Elegance Wig Shop on Monroe Center. I've walked by this place for years and wondered, who in the world is buying wigs these days? Now, I know a friend of mine who is a cross-dresser. He buys wigs, right? Because he wants to look like a girl sometimes. But who else is buying wigs, Sue? Um, people who need it, and like uh, uh, cancer patients and uh, people who need a good hairstyles and colors and different colors. Yeah, because we're not all blessed with hair like this, might I tell you. Mm -hmm. Actually, Sue was telling me that a lot of women these days wake up in the morning and they just don't want to put up with the muss and fuss of having to have hair that looks just perfect. And so average folks will just slap a wig on? Not average, but uh, there are quite a few of them. Yeah. Quite a few people yeah. are doing yes. that, eh? Yes. Yeah, well, let's take a look at uh, the state of the art with wigs. This gentleman right here, what I love about this is you can actually see the part line, because take it off there, Sue. Look at the underside of this wig. It is just like clear, and so no matter where you put it on your bald head, the part will show through. How are the hairs attached on this? Um, it by the hand. The each hole, they put a one or two hair pieces. They're hand tying each yes. one of these? Yes. It is so wild. I'll tell you what. Wigs are really kind of a hot thing these days because everybody's after convenience, everybody's after a good look. And I just wanted to give you a peek inside the Elegance Wig Shop on Monroe Center. Been around forever, and it's just another Barnaby flip the jour.